I have a Master Temp 400, and I'm making this video to show you what the error lights are on the back side of your control board. So I'm going to take apart, take off this front panel, and I'm going to flip over the top and let it hang. Okay, start from the top. We have PS, that's pressure switch. It's right here on the top of the manifold. This is a water pressure switch. It either makes whenever there's water flowing and breaks whenever it's not. So it's looking for a hard short to tell the control board that you have water flowing. That's all that means. HLS is a high limit switch. That's here in the bottom left hand corner and it sits on the output side of your manifold. There is a firewall of sorts with a manifold bypass valve that's in between your thermistor and your HLS inside the manifold. If that manifold bypass valve breaks, that will also throw an HLS light on your control board. So be aware of that. So it may not be your HLS itself. It may be the broken manifold bypass valve that's inside. You need to be aware of that. The thermistor does not have a light at all, a code over here at all, but it does have an E01 code that can be read on the, the panel on the front side. Right here, E01, if the thermistor goes open. Okay, that's all I've got to say about HLS. Okay, the next one is AFS. That's airflow switch. This is your airflow switch. Now these don't commonly go bad, but it works very much the same as this um, water flow one. It's a make or a break. So if it has good airflow, when uh, done by the, the blower motor here, if it pulls air nicely, it'll make a, a solid short and let the circuit board know that we have good airflow. If it doesn't or have poor airflow and that doesn't make contact in there and have a solid short across these leads, then it'll throw an airflow AFS, AFS light and I had one one time uh, do that and it wasn't anything to do with airflow switch it was because the heating coils that are down in in your combustion chamber <clears throat> excuse me it uh, it had water leaking out of the pipes and it filled the combustion chamber with water and I had a video on that repair as well that you can look in my uh, channel and find but that was what was causing it. It was a, a blockage of airflow, not the airflow switch itself. So same thing with your water switch. It's probably not the switch itself. It's probably something blocking the water flow. So be aware of that. The next one down, I see AGS. That's uh, automatic gas uh, shut off switch is right here. It's on the right side of the manifold, just below the water switch, pressure switch. So if you get a light on that, I would replace that unit. Next one after AGS is SFS. That'll be your stack flue right here, this sensor. Stack flue sensors on the, the, the side of your exhaust pipe, stack flue. And if it goes bad, I suspect that one will turn on. And that is it. So I hope this helped you out explaining what all those little uh, letters mean for your error lights. If you like it, let me know. Thanks.